All right. Hi, my name is Katie. I'm the social media manager. I'm Samantha. I'm the director. And we work at the Cattery. Yep. Yep. Today, we're going to do something a little different. We're just going to update you on all the things. Yeah. There's a lot of things going on. And people ask us questions all the time on our videos and stuff. What's going on with this and, the, you know, what's going on with that? But I think it's just easier to answer all of it in one. Because even when we post videos, not everybody sees the videos. Yeah. What if you see it late? And not everybody's going to listen to this, but whatever. Whatever. We're, we're telling you. We're going to tell you. If you don't listen, I That's mean. That's your fault. <laughs> exactly. Come on. <laughs> All right. We got to start with the, the hottest topic is Cecily, I think. Yeah. Most people are asking questions about Cecily. How is she doing? Even even to this day, like this morning I was answering comments. People were asking, how Cecily? Is she okay? And I just posted a video on Sunday. Yep. But... Not but everybody sees not everybody it. saw it. So, how is Cecily doing? She's doing pretty good. Um, they stopped trying to suture the wound, and they're just doing the laser treatment. Good. And I want to say it probably looks worse than it originally did, but way better than it got. So, <laughs> yeah, I would say cause I'm not gonna lie. I was scared to look at it. <laughs> I was a little bit scared to look at it. I love Cecily, and it's really hard to see her that way. Like, you, you get used to seeing this cat every day, and she kind of feels like our cat. And she is our cat. She is. Yeah, well, yeah, but she's mine. <laughs> <laughs> she's mine. No, she's mine. <laughs> anyway, she's our cat. <laughs> um, and I, I just, it was really hard to look at. I was so scared to look at it. But I actually accidentally saw it <laughs> one day when she was taking a cute little nap. And it looked really good. Like, I was so shocked when I saw it. I was like, oh, it actually looks a lot better than I was imagining. Because, of course, you know, always just scared. Yeah. So, yeah. for those of you that don't know, um, I guess it was almost a year and a half ago now. Mm -hmm. Maybe a... No, because Dan's been here two years. Oh. So, when we got Dan, Dan was in a box. So, originally, a person came in and said they had this cat. We didn't see the cat. Yeah. Um, said he fell out of a tree or something and that he was paralyzed and they couldn't take him to the vet and that his bones were sticking out and she made it sound like he was on death's door. So we said, yeah. because we do not have a vet on staff all the time, to take him to the vet and they will humanely euthanize him because from what she was describing, that's what it sounded literally like needed to be done. Yep. So she goes off. Hours later, we go outside. There's a box with Dan in it <laughs> that has to be the cat she was talking about. We're not 100% sure. but No, but seems likely. Yeah. <laughs> and but he didn't have bones sticking out, did he? Well, we couldn't tell because he was covered in poop. That's true. Yeah. Covered in poop. Yep. And I just remember petting him. I think there's a video of me petting him. I and have we're it. like damn it yep like why is he so friendly yep so we sent him to the vet to be put to sleep because we're imagining like we didn't pick him up we didn't want to hurt him yeah he and smelled rotten like he's, yeah honestly. he smelled like he was rotting oh, for sure it was nasty i remember saying that actually i remember saying is that like what does that smell is that which is he rotting? <laughs> made sense because she said his bones were sticking out exactly that's what i was imagining so <laughs> so took him to the vet we're going to, I don't remember who took him. I didn't. Because I remember Carrie or Dr. Allred calling me mm -hmm. or texting me. Um, and she was like, there's no bone sticking out. He's fine. Other than he's paralyzed. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, we have another special needs cat. Great. You actually took a vote. Do you remember that? We did take a vote. Because it was like... This is going to be a lot of work. We don't know the scope, what we're getting into. He could maybe not even live that long. We don't know yet. All we know is that he doesn't have bones sticking out. He might be okay, but we don't know. Do we want to take a risk on this? Because <laughs> maybe it's better for him not to. Speaking of, anyways, that's a whole, I was about to get into that guy. Anyway, um, yeah, we took a vote and everyone voted yes. <laughs> everyone yeah. voted to keep him. And that's actually the day we named him, too, is in the same conversation as the vote. Well, what do you want to name him? And Sam and I had been quoting that movie, Oh, Brother, Where Art Thou, all day. Because at the time, I was still working here at the front desk. And 
I said, let's leave it dapper tan. <laughs> and I was just kidding. <laughs> and then we started talking about suspenders and bow ties yep. and the rest is history. Yep. And then he became Dapper Dan. He's a Dapper Dan man. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do fop here. <laughs> Yep. So anyway, that was a very long segue to get back to the point that <laughs> when he came back, he smelled so good. Mm -hmm. And we were like, what is what shampoo did you use? And we switched to that shampoo. Yep. So fast forward six months or so. And Cecily got her first sore on her butt, which she is now five and a half years old. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess at the time, probably four. Yeah. She had never had that problem before. Ever in four years. And at first, we didn't even think about the shampoo. Mm -mm. We were like, is it the diaper? Is it like we went through all these things. We changed all of these different things. She kept getting these sores on her butt, kind of like pressure sores. But that also didn't make sense because, again, she weighs the same. It's yep. not like she gained a lot of weight. And yep. So there was more pressure. She wasn't spending more time on her feet. She was she's lays around a lot she takes a lot of naps so it's like well, how like is a regular happening? cat exactly all cats sleep <laughs> yeah um, but she still walks around she does and she lifts her butt yeah she lifts her butt like she's dragging it she doesn't sleep on the same side mm -mm. she's but and she's not sitting on her butt mm -mm. where the sores are exactly so it's not it was a mystery it was a miss very big mystery very we're big. so we're so frustrated we did so many different things. Mm -hmm. And finally, one day I was like sitting here and it just popped in my head. I'm like the freaking shampoo. Mm -hmm. And so we switched back mm -hmm. and she hasn't had a new sore since, but the old sore um, never healed as well. And we should have gotten um, Dr. All Allred puts these little clear patches that are medicated on it. Mm -hmm. We should have gotten a new one. And I just never realized i guess that it wasn't wasn't completely healed right it was like it was internally not right somehow <laughs> yeah so um that's where we started and there was a little she was acting weird one day and mm -hmm. took her to the vet didn't find anything she came back the next day she was even worse yep and um like we know our girl we know when she's not yep. right exactly um and that's, that's kind of where we are. There was, I guess, it wasn't a bone sticking out like you think of a broken bone sticking out. It was yeah. like, you could see it, but not until the vet cleaned it up. Like, right. Debreeded it or whatever that's called. Um, <laughs> yeah, sounds <laughs> so gross. disgusting. <laughs> well, <laughs> so because that was showing, they tried to stitch it up. Yeah. And that just, there's just too much tension in mm -hmm. that spot for yep. it to hold even though she was on crate rest yep um so after the third or fourth time Oof. of stitching it and trying different things to relieve the tension um carrie just said i call her carrie because she's my friend before <laughs> she's our vet yeah <laughs> but you call her dr allred yep, show her that's that respect. dr allred doctor. <laughs> i don't call her carrie at the vet no <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> but it's slipping out here. Mm -hmm. So she, um, I don't even know where I was. She had said after the third or fourth oh, suture. Yeah. Uh, that we're different. just going to do laser yeah. and see how it goes. And there was talk about maybe having to get skin grafts and all that. But hopefully the laser is seems to be working. She's going to get another one of those patches next week. Yay. She has one on now, but they have to be reapplied. So... That's where we are with that. Hopefully, I, I she'll feel be. like I feel like it looks a lot better. Yeah, so much better. Hopefully, she'll be in with her friends soon. Yeah, I feel like they're missing her a little. They're all hanging out together. Normally, they kind of do their own thing. Like Chester will hang out by himself, but everybody's just bonding together right now, and it's kind of it's kind of cute. It's like they're all just missing Cecily in the middle of all of them. Yeah, <laughs> normally she's right in the center, and they're all laying kind of near her. But it's just I think they're missing her. Yeah let's talk about Dory because that video Dory. blew up. Yes. Um, first of all, there's so many comments about there's nothing wrong with her. Well, there is. And maybe, <laughs> maybe we weren't that clear in that video. 
something wrong with her. She is very much inbred. That oh. doesn't mean she's not a very special, nice, friendly cat. She's wonderful. <laughs> she's a great cat. She's awesome. Dory forgets to eat. Yeah. And she, she's like an 11 month old cat. Let me yeah. Look. Let me look. She's for... tiny. She looks like a kitten. I don't want to misquote myself. But she's literally a small, but yeah, um, literally forgets to eat. Like that wasn't a joke. That <laughs> was legit. She forgets. It's not, not jokesies. So there's, yeah, there's a video of, um, she's nine months. So I overshot by two months. Eh. But <clears throat> when she was in the room, she weighed four pounds. Tiny. Yeah. She should weigh nine pounds, yep. basically between eight and 10 pounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. So <laughs> she looks cute with her little tooth sticking out and, but she's definitely like, I would call her a special needs cat. Whoever adopts her is going to need to Monitor. make sure she eats. Yes. <clears throat> so as a shelter and it being very humid <laughs> here and hot and the hottest time of the year, typically at this time of year, we get ringworm. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing. I'm going to pat, pat ourselves on the back. It's amazing we don't have more cats with ringworm. Honestly. But <clears throat> sometimes. <sighs> what was Something's that? Something's in my sneeze? throat. No. <laughs> um, sometimes even in the rooms. Because, you know, it comes on your clothes, on your hands. Yep. People can bring it in. Um, it's very persistent. Yeah. We don't have ring. We, like, we don't store the ringworm cats in the same building. <laughs> we store them in the I'm just kidding. They they are housed in in a different building altogether. The ringworm condos. And the people that work in ringworm don't come over to the shelter. Yeah, we try everything we can not to cross contaminate, but that doesn't mean it's, you know, it's never ever going to hit the yeah, shelter. It's not 100%. It like, still we can't still shows up. Like no people would ever be able to go in. Exactly. <laughs> Put on your hazmat suit before you go in. The public, anyone, because <laughs> like it's just that prevalent down here. Yeah. And um, so Dory has a little tiny spot on her ear. So that's why you haven't seen Dory. She's in ringworm. But I will say this is the best thing that has happened to her because she weighs over six pounds. I now. heard that. I heard that she gained weight. I call it ringworm weight, <laughs> which is kind of hard to say ringworm weight. Ring. Yeah, I'm saying it right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, everyone that goes into ringworm comes out a little bit chunky. Yeah. Because <laughs> we feel bad for them, so they get so many treats. They do. They they do. They get a lot of treats. They get a lot of love. They still get all the attention. Oh, no! Did you catch it? I caught it. <laughs> oh, I just knocked gosh. over my 64 ounce. I don't know how many ounces this is. 32? 64. 64 sure. ounces. Oh, 44. It's around 44. 44. Ounce. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, it makes I sense. I always wondered why it was called that. <laughs> And by the way, this is news to current news. Uh, Route 44 at Sonic is 44 ounces. <laughs> Neat cat facts. <laughs> I need a napkin. Oh, no. I don't a have any. A little bit got out. Oh, no. We don't have any napkins in here? What is wrong with us? I, I don't know. What about in here? Oh, I didn't look in there. I didn't look in the bag of food that we have here. There you go. Thanks. Napkins. What were we talking about? Ringworm weight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah, they have a dedicated person taking care of them every day that I really just imagine them in there just spoon feeding them. Honestly. <laughs> for nine hours a day. Mm hmm Exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> Who else needs an update? Pandora. You want to talk about Pandora? How's she doing? She's doing great. She's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> She's except, very popular. Except, you know, she had was tube fed for a while yeah and um she was kept over on the office side of the shelter mm -hmm. and no one will let her go back into the shelter so she's hanging out with us in the office in yeah. the lobby she's awesome <laughs> I'm, I'm fine with her being over here but she's doing really good i know people ask about her too um, oh um alpha so oh, alpha. alpha did not go get a scan because we had been I had been talking about FIP with the vet, and the vet kind of said she ruled it out. 
-hmm. and we were trying all the other stuff that it could be before we took him to Houston to get a very expensive MRI. That's about four hours, maybe more yeah. from us. Yeah. One way, by the way. <laughs> One way, and then you're there all day, and it's like a... It's a trip. It's a 16-hour day, yeah. at least. Exactly. And I read a new article... It was new to me. I don't know how old it is <laughs> about neurological FIP because a lot of FIP does have neurological symptoms, but I had not heard of like plain out straight neurological FIP me mm -mm. and it fit him to a T and we do have our spay neuter vet. We, we have multiple, but one main one yeah. that has been our main vet for eight years and she was here the day I read it and I let her read it and she was like that. That fits him to a T. Yeah. So I asked the FIP people and they had to start him on FIP stuff, mm -hmm. meds. And he is not 100%, but he went from not being able to lift his head to today. He walked across the floor, jumped in his cage and pooped in his litter box. He did? Yeah. He hasn't been <gasps> able to move. I'm going to cry. I'll show you the video. Maybe I'll send it to you and you can put it in the... Oh my god, Podcast. I'm so happy. <clears throat> so that's where we're at with him. He's not 100% by any means, that's but such he's an so improvement, much though. better. Oh my god. Yeah, he looked rough. He looked really rough a couple, just a couple weeks ago. I remember we were even having the discussion. I don't know if I'm going to leave this in here. We were having the discussion of possibly letting him go. I think you can leave it in. Leave it in? Okay. Because that's not not out of the question i mean no like we have his a, best interests in mind that's a a real concern that we have with any cat that we yeah. treat is we don't want to do it just because yeah for selfish human reasons we want him to have quality of life and exactly and all that and even if he if he's like in there which we thought he was in there the yeah. whole time because yeah. he you was can just so tell and yeah. looking at making eye contact making biscuits like he was still you could tell he was still in there. He wasn't checked out. <laughs> yeah, but just like, I guess being a vegetable. Yeah, that's that's not a life for a cat that was running around the team room, teen room, and playing with his friends. And exactly. Um, so we we decided to give it more time, a little more time. And if there was no improvement, then we were gonna probably make that decision. Yep. After we were gonna do the scan just to see <clears throat> exactly. But yeah, that's amazing. That makes me so happy. Good boy, Alpha. I told him, don't give up, sir. Yeah, so we use the money that we raised for the scan to buy more FIP, FIP meds. Yeah, that's not, not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> not cheap. <laughs> mm -mm. But worth it. It's obviously, as we've seen, it, it makes a big, big difference. That's amazing. Who else? What else? Who else? Oh, I think we should briefly talk about Dapper Dan's visit with the baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. People, some people lost their mind <laughs> about that the baby was hitting him with a stick. And no. Nope. That never happened. I'm sorry. Um, so here's the thing. The baby is my baby. Um, we call him the Cattery baby because he's. We grew him here. Literally grew him here. I paid for a lot of that Taco Bell. Literally <laughs> all I ate was Taco Bell. Nacho fries. That's why he's so big. <laughs> You need a big baby. Eat nacho fries. I, I just remember, literally, I told Sam before we even had the baby. I was like, Sam, I'm thinking about having a baby. <laughs> She's like, are you going to quit? I think that was her first question. I'm like, you're not allowed to quit. You're, you're not, are you going to quit? You're not allowed to quit. No, I'm just letting you know I'm thinking about doing this. <laughs> Anyways, uh, had the baby. Um, so he's the cattery baby. <laughs> and he's he's was not only grown here, but he was pretty much raised here. He was coming with me to work for yeah, like, until he was like eight months old. Longer than that, he was. He was. Yeah, no, about eight months old. No, he was over one. He was. Oh, yeah. He, in January is yep. when he started daycare. He's like so fourteen he was, months old. For like fourteen months, he was here every week, almost not every, every day, but almost every day. But seriously, all the time, he was always here. Um, he took lots of first steps in here. Like he did a lot of things here. He's been raised around cats. I have five cats at home. He's always been around cats. 
That being said, that does not mean that he's perfect around cats. And I supervise him very closely. He did not hit Dan with a stick, I promise you. <laughs> In fact, he tried to. I'm not going to lie. He, you saw the Well, video. he wasn't trying to do it on you. No, like, he wasn't he trying was to hurt playing. him. He was trying to play. He doesn't know how to control his arms perfectly yet. He's. I know he looks huge. He's not even two. He's not even two yet. He's the size of a three-year-old, but he's... <laughs> So one and a half, I promise. He's just a baby. Because people are saying, oh, that's a kid. I'm like, no, he's technically still just a little tiny baby. <laughs> he, he doesn't know how to do that much. He's working on it. Tiny in his mind. Yeah, exactly. Big in his body. Huge body. <laughs> just massive. I have this picture of him with his other friends at daycare, and he's just like twice I think size. his head is bigger than Wyatt's. Yes, I think it is. <laughs> he wears Wyatt's hats, so yes. Wyatt's eight, yep, right? exactly. Yeah. So, Yeah. <laughs> He's just a big boy, but no, he, we, whenever he's here, especially when he's here, he gets supervised very closely with the cats at home too. He's around lots of cats and he gets supervised. We don't just let him run the cats. Like <laughs> there's a very healthy boundary that we're, we're trying to establish with him. And we, I have been trying to establish with him since he was born. We want him to be good to cats. So anyways, the, the video was a jokey. It was a joke. <laughs> Is that still recording? Yeah. Okay. Dapper Dan is not a fa not a fan of him. Honestly, he's really not. Like he's he doesn't like really any loud things that are fast and unpredictable, <laughs> which is fine. He's a cat. That's, exactly. That's what cats don't like. Pretty much standard. <laughs> um, but he makes the funniest freaking faces. He made the same face at Chad the week before, exactly. and nobody. He makes the same face when we poop him. So. <laughs> But it was it was just a joke. He, he was never hit by the kid. He he doesn't like the kid, but he's not he's not a, he's not actually <laughs> he's not bad. I promise. Anyways, that was my that was my thing. Um, but I did hear that I was possibly getting a write up this week from Dan because <laughs> somebody gave him the great idea that if you can't write the baby up, you can write up the mom. So I might be getting one. I don't know. We'll see. My favorite, I think my favorite, some of the nasty people got banned, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. But my fa my favorite comment was, get r get rid of the person that oh. brought the baby. Yeah. And my <laughs> comment back was, if we get rid of that person, no more videos for you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Guys, come on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, so that, that would be me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and, and he was here baby. for like literally 10 minutes. Exactly. There was, there was a handoff. Yep. To the, to the dad. The father. I almost said cattery dad, but people would get confused. No. <laughs> cattery dad. <laughs> to the baby's dad. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, he, exactly. He just was visiting temporarily and he, and yeah, it's all good. I promise Dan's fine. It's always a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Bellamy's yeah. doing good. He's a fan favorite. Bellamy's doing really good. Actually, Bellamy has um, two groupies. <laughs> I wonder if I have a video. If I do, I'll put it in this video. Um, but it's Rolanda. Oh, Rolanda and Daisy? And Daisy, he's got three groupies. Because I was thinking of Eleanor. Oh. Eleanor, Daisy, and Rolanda, they all hang out by his door. And they just, like, rub all over the door. And he just completely ignores them. He's just like, I don't want anything to do with you ladies. <laughs> and they're all obsessed with him. Like, I don't get it. He's just so manly. Do they think he has special food, maybe? Maybe, but it's like Bellamy. Well, they don't do it with the other door. Mm -mm. And it's when Bellamy's at the door, they go to the door. It's like, no, oh, he's got magnetism. He's just so <laughs> handsome. They're like, oh, it's Bellamy. He must be like the Ben Affleck of... Is Ben Affleck cute? He's the Pedro Pascal of the cat world. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, there he is. <laughs> That's who's popular right now, right? <laughs> Well, he was in that one meme. That's, That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> or that one trend. Yeah, he's pretty popular, I think. Anyways, whoever your whoever your celebrity man crush is, that's Bellamy to them, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he's They're behind obsessed. behind the like he's not assess accessible. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't and have him, so I want him. <laughs> they would do that with Wilson, but Wilson stinks. <laughs> We love Wilson. Love you, Wilson. He smells like poop. Yeah, he's he a stinky <laughs> all, boy. All the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's still very handsome, though. He he's is. He is very sweet. Wilson is doing good. <laughs> 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 he's still here. He's still, still being stinky. 
Logan. I don't know if we updated people that he has, we think he has CH. Is it confirmed he has CH or is it just sort of like a obvious? Yes, it's obvious. So wobbly. cats that get CH are born with that. Usually um, CH stands for cerebellar hypoplasia. And it is caused by, this isn't as prevalent as once thought, but mom's getting vaccinated while pregnant. Or really, it's caused by the mom having panleukopenia when mm. they are pregnant. So I guess that's why they thought it was the vaccine. Because oh. that's one of the things in the vaccine. Yep. But also, um, he had panleukopenia, oh, which yeah. also causes it. And that's when he started being wobbly. Uh-huh. That's and then, interesting. And then we learned later that cats that had panleukopenia or more likely to get FIP, which he then got. Poor little Logan. Oh <laughs> He's been through so much. He's tried to die so many times on us. We won't let him. <laughs> and a little fun fact, if you made it this far, I'm going to tell you the secret. Ooh. So we've taken care of these cats. It's, it's, you know, the cats we have to take care of a lot that we don't want to let anyone adopt. Yep. Um, which is the first step of being a hoarder, I will say. It is. Is thinking that nobody can take <laughs> care of a cat better than you. So we're teetering. We're, we're all, we're but, but we recognize it, so it's fine. Exactly. So the edge of glory. <laughs> when people were coming in and asking about the cat, you know, to adopt and asking about the cats in the lobby, mm-hmm. it felt so icky to me when the adoption counselors would talk about them and they would be like, oh, they're so cool. I'm like, you don't know what we've been through. Honestly. <laughs> year we're a year into this okay (laughs) so i made the rule um with no vote i just made this rule well you you're the queen so that if people want to adopt them they have to know their story already they're not just going to come in and we're going to tell them their story they have to know what they've been through right so if you are one of the people listening that actually would like to adopt them that's that's the magic words like come in and say you follow us and you know logan's story or dewey's story or yep, whatever exactly and um that's that's fair to me because this drug still is relatively new like yeah. being used for this so we don't know how long it's gonna last honestly and we want them to be taken care of yep if they relapse at some point exactly but we obviously that's cannot a good point. keep every cat that no <laughs> you can't keep every FIP cat. <laughs> but seriously. But you do. I think that's fair that they have to know yes. what went in went, went into their survival. <clears throat> exactly. Especially considering that this, like Sam just said, the, the drug is so new. This is literally the first FIP cats that we've ever saved, right? Like mm-hmm. lived. It's a big deal. <laughs> like, yeah. It's shocking and exciting. And, and we did. We put a lot of time and effort and love into these guys. And We see them every day. We spend a lot of time. They're in the lobby. They're always in Sam's office. They're always (laughs) with her. (laughs) So, yeah, it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Um, Also, like I said, you are the queen of cats. So, And so (laughs) if if you come in here Mm -hmm. and don't say, like, if you come in here and you ask about the cats, you're going to be told they're not available. Yeah. So you have to say the magic words. Exactly. Exactly. So, oh, really? That's too bad because I, I follow you guys and I know their story. Yeah. That's how you do it. <laughs> and I did say, we'll put out more videos on them so more people know about them. And we haven't done that, but we will. At some point. At some point. We got a lot of other stuff to do. <laughs> 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 so much going on, guys. We have so much going on. Thing. The final, I think possibly the final update since that was kind of, I feel like the FFB cats is the final cat update, is that we have so much stuff going on right now (laughs) if you like our content if you like our stuff we have all kinds of merchandise that we're working on we have all kinds of um things that we're in getting involved in like cameo um we have patreon is still growing we still have people joining patreon all the time there are so many ways to get involved with the cattery we're doing so much stuff and including this podcast if you're still listening yeah you're amazing and like (laughs) most of them don't not all of them cost money, but even the things that cost money don't cost a lot of money. Exactly. Like, Patreon is like two, three, five. Exactly. Um, and then if you really, 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 really love us and have the money, there's yep. a $65 That's a month. That's a big one. But like $5 is one coffee. If you have 
extra money that's not a lot to spend on something that you get stuff in return exactly you're getting stuff back like we have the videos and pictures and comics and all the stuff on patreon that is it's a lot of fun you get something back but you're also helping save cats because all of it goes to the cat go do all the things join all the things if you can and even if you can't share the things with the people you yeah, know we, we post a ton of free content oh uh, so much we have so much information that we put out there <laughs> so much so that I was talking to my husband, the cattery, the real cattery dad, the cattery dad, <laughs> about something funny that I posted in the stories, and he's like, "What?" And I said, "You never look at the stories." He's like, "It's so much. There's so much." But yeah, we're always <laughs> posting. We always have stuff to tell y'all. There's always something funny happening or something cool happening. In fact, it's gotten we've we've have so much information and stuff out there that my neat cat facts have turned into something. Silly something cr yeah silly there i call them unhinged yes <laughs> silly is a nicer way to say it <laughs> they're, they're getting a little they're crazy so funny. <laughs> they're I getting so hard they're getting a little crazy because i've run out of factual cat facts so i have to come up with this stuff for you guys we have so much stuff out there <laughs> i thought of another one this morning i should have written it down and i was i was just laughing in the bathroom and robbie's like what's wrong with you <laughs> Like, I thought of something really funny for my Catbax video, and then I didn't write it down because it was 6 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it'll come back. I know it will. Let's talk to me in the same exact spot that I was in. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah. There's lots of stuff. Lots of stuff that we're doing. You should, you should go look at and stuff and join. So, That's that fun. leads us to like, comment, yeah. share subscribe Hello. to okay. this podcast come back we're listen. almost to the point where youtube can be monetized for us so <gasps> that will help us save even more we're getting closer yeah we're getting closer and that will help us even more so share it with your friends watch all the videos that yeah. helps us do we have like hey i have an idea a good free way you can help out <laughs> open your youtube put on the live like the live re records and just let it play. You don't have to have the sound on. You can just let it run on your computer. Don't tell YouTube, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> no, I mean, I meant watch it. I meant go sit there and watch every second of it. <laughs> That's what I meant. Watch our YouTube stuff. Watch it. In the background tab. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I, think that, I think that wraps it up. Yep. We'll see yeah, you next week, probably. See you next week, maybe. <laughs> Bye. Bye. He's cute. It's the same thing every time, basically. <laughs> Pretty much. Hi, Dan. He's making him look at me. He's great. <laughs> Data points. He's trying to catch rain. Well, let me do it again. He just jumped up really <laughs> to get the rain.